Hello friends, I'm back with another video for you. You know, it's gonna be cool. I've got a new sketchbook that I got at Michael's the other like week because I forgot to <laughs> to fill it out. But here it is. It's a Canson extra large watercolor sketchbook, just in case you wanna buy it. Whatever. I don't know. But welcome to this video. Let's get into what I want to do because this is going to be a series actually and I want to know if, sorry background noise, <laughs> I want to know if you guys like this idea and if you do, I want to keep making videos about this idea. Bro, what am I even saying? Please let me know if you want more of these videos. Um, yay tell me if you like this video or not because i have lots of ideas and i want to be able to pursue them okay let's just get into my idea so do you remember my second video or my sketchbook tour video of sketchbook number 10 there was a character in there who i made out of this like pink ink that rhymes <laughs> So he was made out of pink ink and I called him Gary Boy and he was colored with this pink ink. Yeah, him. I'll put a picture of him on screen. And I also had a potential character on the next page of that sketchbook. I'll show a picture of her. And I asked the viewers if they wanted me to turn those into characters and like stuff like that. And people have answered and they said yes. Or a couple people did, not a lot, but I personally want to do it, so... I was like, let's just do it. I'm going to make them into characters, names and everything, you know? And I thought this sketchbook is perfect for it, you know, cause it's got, it's like nice paper that I can just put everything on and not have to worry about bleeding and stuff. Or my cat's kind of trying to I was gonna bring my cat on camera, but he ran away from me. I'm sad now. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to make these characters literally have like their own world so i have i have ideas for this world and i thought why not put it into like its own sketchbook so then all the development can be in here and i have a lot of ideas for it sorry i'm fixing something <laughs> i have a lot of ideas and i really 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 want to do this so you know after this video tell me if you like it and I will continue to do these because also this sounds like such a fun idea and also it's a little going to be a little bit educational because we're going to be talking about inks. Yeah, it's going to be cool. Here's the dilemma. Um, the ink I used, this one, it's in this jar, you can see it, kind of, not really, but it's called Pokeberry ink and it's made out of the Pokeberry, of course. <laughs> And that's the pink ink that I used. And in my sketchbook tour, the black ink that I was talking about is this one. It's a vintage black ink that like you rehydrate. And I don't exactly know what kind of like ink this is, but this is what it looks like. I would color the characters with both of those inks every single time, but I don't have enough to continue that long term. Which means that I'm going to have to color match them with watercolors. So that's going to be cool. You know, that's just so that I don't run out of ink first off. And um, this pokeberry ink I made myself. And I kind of don't have a lot of pokeberry around me anymore. So I won't be able to make that if I run out of it. Good? Okay, good. Moving on. When we open the sketchbook, it's blank. I put the date up here, even though it's not <laughs> November 6th. It's November 16th. I don't know. And I thought for the opening page, we could draw the two of them together. Berry Boy and the other girl that I don't have a name for. So I'll do that as like an introduction page. And then I also wanted to make character reference sheets. Like have two of them here colored and then a little bit of information about each of them. Just to get a little bit of background info kind of thing okay with that said 
let's just, you know, roll into the time lapse and I'll talk a little bit there. Okay, here's the opening page. Um, the anatomy on this page is like whack, especially Barry Boy's. Um, his legs are not correct, so please just like literally ignore that. Please don't tell me in the comments because I know already. Um, here I go. Like, I've been into brush lining recently, and I'm actually pretty good at it. I thought I wouldn't be, but I'm decent. So that's good, you know, because I like it. Ew, that was my hair. <laughs> um, I don't know what to title this, so like you know uh drop some like suggestions in the comments okay here i go with the character reference sheet i wanted to make the ink like designs based off the type of ink that they are obviously and the main character's ink is unknown because i don't know what that black ink is like i don't know exactly what kind of ink that is here i redo it because i literally hated the first ones this is like much better and that oh my gosh my cereal bowl <laughs> bro i didn't know that was in the frame anyway <laughs> Okay, cleaning it up and stuff. I really want to, like, make more videos about this. Talking, like, in depth about the ink and, like, what kind of ink it is and, like, what it does, what are its properties. Scientific stuff, you know? I like that. Here I go inking. Also, sorry that Berry Boy's out of frame. I literally didn't know. Here I go coloring. It was really difficult matching these colors just because, like, the ink has so much different shades to it. Because it's not watercolor. It's, like obviously chemically different so it's not like going to behave the same way um but i really like the coloring i just think it looks so like cohesive well because it's all the same color but the cohesiveness just kind of brings like a life to it and like their color combination like the grayish black and like the magenta just kind of looks really nice together i don't know i think they're going to be a really fun dynamic once i develop their personalities a little more but you know tell me what you think what do you think their personalities are going to be because i would love to know what you want to you know what you think i like to hear feedback okay me coloring the reference page i wanted to make these characters like 11 12 or like 13 i wanted to make them young because it'll play into the story later which i have like plans for but i'm not gonna tell you yet because we're not there you know and i don't have a lot of time to explain it because this time lapse is so fast <laughs> the recording's about to be done i'll see you in a second but i'll actually be talking okay bye 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 Hey, so I just finished the, like, character reference sheet. I'm not super sure about these designs. These are just the ones that were on my head. Or in my head, I guess. This camera, I need to put it up. These are just the designs that were in my head that I thought I should get out on paper. Um, and I said I'm naming him Barry just because it makes sense. <laughs> but I don't have a name for her. And I want her to be, like, the main character in all of this. So, put some suggestions down below. Um, I'd like to know what you think. But I'd like to talk about the first page in this. This one. So, I don't know what to title this. But I'll figure it out. Um, and might I just say this? This is not technically correct anatomy. But you know what it is, so it's fine. Um, I like this though overall it just seems so lively and this is kind of the energy that I think these characters will bring to the story or just what they'll bring to their own um, design but let me know what you should think about each of these characters I would really like to know and let me know if you want me to design more characters based on inks which is kind of, kind of fun comment down below what you think and if you have any suggestions also leave those in the comments i like to hear what you think and that's it for now but i'll see you again whenever i have time to film so see you bye